Hey everyone, welcome to the Red Leaf Exotics channel. I'm Dom. I'm sorry I missed you guys last week, but we've been so busy here propagating plants. But we're back with a really fun video. I wanted to share five Nepenthes that can eat mice. These plants either have eaten a mouse in the past or they have mice inside them now. So let's go explore the jungle and share these really big pictures with you guys. The first mouse eating plant we have on the list today is Nepenthes truncata crossifipiata. It catches mice on the regular. You could see how large the pitchers are and they are really tough and woody. So if a mouse is getting down in there, it's not gonna get out. Although this plant has some pretty big pitchers on the basil, they have not captured any mice yet. In the past, when the pitchers get a little larger down here, um, they do capture mice. So this one's probably a couple months off from producing traps that can do that. These can definitely eat a mouse. However, they're so high up in the air that a mouse can't really get up here to get in there. Um, I mean, there's a daddy long leg. I'm gonna double check. Can you imagine if there was a mouse? No, no mice in here. So big and large enough too, and it has in the past, but it looks like there's nothing inside the traps this round. Number two up on the list is the most popular mouse eating plant in the greenhouse. This is the Loei truncata giant form from Exotica. This plant usually captures a mouse or two every single pitcher. This one here has a fresh mouse in it, maybe a few days old. So I'm just gonna use some of these forceps uh, tweezers and show you guys. Oh, you, oh God. Oh my God. It's kind of turning into mush, but you could see there. Oh, it smells so bad. Ooh. I'm gonna check out this other one. There's definitely something down in here. Oh my God. Um, so this looks like it's just bones and soup by now. There's not really much to see, uh, but this is definitely the most popular mouse eating plant in the collection. And it gets the largest pitchers consistently. The big, beautiful Loei truncata giant. This smells so bad. Let's move on to the next plant. Ooh. Number three up on the list and another confirmed mouse eater in the collection is Loei Cross Truncata Spectabilis Northiana. It gets these huge pitchers. This one is massive. And although it does not have any mice in it right now, it has eaten quite a few in the past. I'm sure in just a few weeks, this new fresh one will probably capture a mouse. I'll update you guys if and when it does. But a big, beautiful plant and definitely has a taste for flesh. Number four up on the list is looking awesome. It's Peltata cross truncata giant from Exotica. It just put on this massive new pitcher. Look how big this thing is. Definitely mouse eating status. And the last pitcher here, which is much smaller. Let me be careful. I don't want to break my pitchers. This one actually captured a mouse. So I'm going to go ahead and empty the contents out from this pitcher because it's been in there so long. I'm sure it's pretty soupy and show you guys how it breaks down the mouse. So I have a little net pot here I'll dump it into and we'll see what comes out. But it has smelled for days um, a few weeks ago and now there's nothing. So I'm sure it decomposed it quite a bit, but let's dump it in here and see what comes out. Lock your noses, here we go. Oh God, oh my, it's like such a, whoa. So, I'm not gonna breathe, I am not gonna breathe. You could see, oh God, all the pieces of bones and hair. That is all mouse hair, um, intestines. There's actually not much left. There's not even many bones left in here. The plant has done a really good job with digesting and breaking this mouse down. So they can eat mice efficiently and keep growing. It does not kill some of the pitchers depending on how big they are. Um, Loei truncata, like I mentioned previously, does eat a lot of mice on every single pitcher. Uh, this one here is browning a little, a little bit in the lid, which means the mouse could have been too much, but it did digest it. And you can really see how that nitrogen is making the pitchers really big on the new growth. This one is really big, and I will not be surprised if this one captures a mouse soon, just in the next few days. I'm gonna look in here and make sure 
Nope, there is a spider in there. If we could get down, I'll show you guys that. You can really see when they start to eat the mice how much larger the pitchers start to get. And that's the plant saying, I'm ready for more mice. Really cool. Number five, and last on the list but not least, is this huge Truncata Moriliana from Exotica. These pitchers are gargantuan, and this plant is a confirmed mouse eater in the collection. It doesn't have anything in them right now, and they will get even bigger as the summer kicks in and it gets just a little warmer. They love heat. One of the themes we're seeing here is that the Truncata hybrids love eating mice because they just get big enough to do so. If this um, was a smaller plant or smaller plants that have captured mice, usually the pitchers rot or just start to die. And that means that it is an overload of nitrogen. It's too much for the plant. It can't handle it. All these plants that I showed you in the video can eat mice, digest them, keep their pitchers and keep eating mice. So those are true confirmed mice eaters in the collection. I'll leave you guys with these two big picturing Nepenthes. This is Loei Moriliana giant and Truncata giant cross Bocarensis. Two future mouse eaters, I'm sure. They have never captured mice, at least not yet, but the pitchers are so big, I know it's just a matter of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Happy growing.